One often requested feature in Redshift is the ability to blur textures, and it's not something that's possible right now as it's very computationally expensive. Uh, I've got a little hack here that will show you how you can get a pretty decent approximation of blur uh, just using noises, and I'll walk you through that now. So we take our base max on noise here, or whatever noise you want, we'll plug it into the surface, um, and you can see it's a very, very small noise, 0 0.002. If I push in, you know, I've got to get real close to be able to see the noise. You go as small as you want with this. Um, so if I plug this back into surface. So we've got two versions of this noise with different seeds. Each one of them goes into a change range, and this is very important. Uh, it has to be a zero-centered noise, because if it's not zero-centered, then um, basically it'll be offsetting the image in one direction. It'll be like a directional blur. Um, so as we step it through here, we basically set you know uh, 0 0.5 to minus 0 0.5 range, say. And we do this on both of these. Um, and then you're going to want to put down a vector maker here, okay, and then plug each into X and Y, and you plug that into the offset of your redshift texture. Um, and this is important to do a vector maker because if you just do one noise, then you'll get, um, I think it ends up being diagonal because the offset is expecting an X and a Y uh, input, right? I also just have a super simple expresso expression here that takes one of the ranges here from uh, from this guy here and uh, range maps it, as you can see, from minus one to one to one to minus one and uh, plugs that into the rest of these so you don't have to do it manually. You can do this in Houdini. You can do this in, in pretty much any app. So yeah, there you have it. I will post the C4D file in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.